Okay, I'm coming at you with the next card, but I am not going to piecemeal assembly it. You're going to see this all in quickie mode. But I, uh, this is uh, a Spellbinders, the card creator. It is Filigree Delight. I will link it all down below. This is, I can tell by the sticker, it's an expo, um, expo buy that I've had for like forever and a day. Okay, I don't even know if you can get it. I will tell you, on some of these older dies, for those of you, the uninitiated, this one I had a heck of a time when I die cut it of pulling it out. So you want to run it through with wax paper. Now that I think about it, I've not been having that issue with the newer spell binders. So I'm assuming they're coming better. Um, there's a different coating. I'm not sure. I don't know. And maybe it's just I haven't done a super intricate one. But this guy was a booger to get out of the die. And that's when I remembered, oh, yeah, dork. You needed to put wax paper. And then the other thing is, and this is, this. I don't know if you can see that modeling. That modeling came off of, I believe, the the magnetic mat from my um, Empress. So I've, I don't know what's going on there. But the lucky thing is, is that that's going to go on top and nobody will notice. Of course, when you look at the oval, you will see that idiot here put the metal shim on top so it got marked. But, oh, yeah, don't forget, here's a, I mean, the flowers are going to go on top of it. You're not going to notice it. We were saved from our own lunacy. But remember those things, okay, guys? But let me get to putting this together real quick. Yeah, I'm back. Undeterred. Here's card number three. Really simple, but really pretty, really elegant. I'm pleased with how this one has turned out. Um, I managed to also stamp it before I um I started working on the on the level on the um oh my gosh, the height of this. Um I love this stamp from Crafter's Companion. Friendship isn't a big thing. It's a million little things. I'm a huge fan of that show, Million Little Things. Um, I love this stamp. I hate this stamp. I'm really bitterly disappointed that it stamps so badly. And it's obviously it's acrylic. It's not photopolymer. And I may hey, I have mad skills with on word. So I'm beginning to think I'm gonna come up with a liner that I can put this and just do it myself. Because I'm I'm really disappointed. I will admit it. So anyway. I will be right back, because guess what? I have one more to make it four. Remember, if I'm going to cut one, let's cut four. Be right back. 
Okay, this last card is brought to you by this background plate from Gemini that I have had for, I don't know if I've had it for a while. I don't remember when I got it, how I got it, where I got it, but I have it. And it's just a background plate. It does not cut the, the square. What I did is I measured this out, and because I could already see that I had about an eighth of an inch here, and I wanted a quarter inch because I, this is going to be a shaker card. Surprise, surprise, I finally squeezed one in. I went ahead and just cut my panel another quarter of an inch larger than the die itself, which was all great and wonderful, but it's a pain in the butt to line it up. And then when you peel it out, it's even a bigger pain in the butt because it is really, really fine, as you can see here. What I suggest is that you guys got the paper to spare, and I did. This is a monster 100-page pack I have from Recollections. Just cut it big and then trim it down to your edge and make it easy on yourself. So having said that, the measurements will be down below on the offense chance you're as crazy as I am. But I will now go ahead and set this up as a shaker and put it together. So hang on, guys. Here we go.
Alrighty, kids. So we now have four finished cards, and a moment, as of now, we don't have a noisy fish tank because I realized, you know what? I can just unplug the filter, and it no longer makes noise. But um, <laughs> finished. So we got all four of the finished cards. So I wanted you to get one last glimpse of them all together. So again, these are the first two I made. Same design, just changed out the color, and I still came out like my, my, my mind which one I like more. I really like them both. This one got a little dinged now, so this might be a forever keeper because I just dropped it and something spilled on it, and there you go. That's what happens around here. So this might be like my, my forever keeper, and then this one will can be sent out to someone that I like enough to send this card out to. And then we have this one, which was just you pulling out one of the dies that's been sitting there collecting dust waiting forever to be used, you know, with my little stamp that I think I'm going to, I definitely am going to go back and try to go on Word and just make myself a new one that I can just print on cards myself because I love this thing. I really, really, really do. It is a disappointment that it's it comes out so fuzzy. I'm sad. And this one absolutely, I think, is my favorite. I may have to make more of these. I think this one I'll just save for mom because purple is her favorite color and her birthday's coming up in May. But it, I really am happy for how it turned out. I will add a little comment because I used the new strips I got from scrapbook.com for around here. And I had issues with this one and this one sticking in two spots that I kept having um, it opening up and uh, sequins coming out. And this is not embossed. I tend to sometimes emboss the background paper, but I didn't hear... So I'm not going to totally blame the, the strip right now yet. I will keep you guys posted as I continue using these strips. I suspect it might have been that I got some powder underneath it, and that's why it wasn't sticking. So I ultimately just hit went with my, you know, my, um, my little glue, this one. And, you know, because I could get the little point in and put some wet glue in there and sealed it up. And it's been fine. But it's the only, I mean, it was a spot right here and a spot right here. So I suspect that I'm the culprit, to, perf to be perfectly honest. So I say that so you know to be careful when you hit around the edges with your, with the powder so that you don't get it to where it doesn't stick where you want it to stick. Hello, that's counterproductive to a shaker card. But I hope, honestly, you guys enjoyed this and you got something out of it. Thanks so much always for hanging out and watching all of my madness. I, I Again, if you loved it, if you didn't love it, maybe you liked it. Maybe you didn't like it. But, you know, if, if nothing else, if you feel like stay, taking pity on this poor mad scrapper, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Drop me a note and say hi. Um, and I will respond. And if you want to see more of my madcap madness, I still have more. I have another video that's already shot. I'm going to be, um, oh my goodness, I'm going to be... Um, What's the word now? Rendering. I'm going to be, you know, doing editing, editing, whatever the things you do that us YouTubers do um, that don't have a life. Um, we will, I will get that up there. You'll see other stuff. I already have something else like set us. I have several projects right here on my desk. It's a hot mess as usual. But go ahead, subscribe and ring the bell. And you know when this over talkative mad scrapper will be back. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Go out there, craft, make something beautiful. And don't forget, we are all a little mad here. Do you have any doubt? So come, let's craft the madness together. All right, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye.